Hiker J here. This week I'm going to be talking about Hydroflask water bottle filter made by Epic Water Bottle Filter Systems. Now Hydroflask by far is one of my favorite water bottles, thermal insulated water bottles out there. Um, you know it, I've, been, I've done reviews on all kinds of them and different caps and things, but I haven't found a water bottle filter that I really wanted for one. Well, Epic Water Bottle Filters really came up with what they call the answer for it. It's a filter and a cap system. You can keep your favorite water bottle all the time. Whoops, getting all wet over here. You can keep your favorite water bottle, Hydro Flask water bottle, and just get the filter and the cap for it, and you're all set. So I'm going to tell you all about this company, the filter, how it's made, how it functions, and then you can decide for yourself if it's the right water bottle filter for you for your Hydro Flask. Now, as always, all the products will be linked down below in the description so you can check them out. And I'll also put some details to like uh, the tests and things that have been done on these filters as well. So this is a tap water filter. So it is strictly for tap water. You can use it on well water, tap water, you know, that type of thing. But what it does is it really cleans out all the chlorines, the fluorides, the sulfites, all those things that would bad taste and bad things, um, it clears out for you. And I'm gonna tell you, I've been drinking from it for a couple days now, and it's very clear. Like you can hardly taste anything. It's very, very clean water, which um, is really great if you're really worried about what you're putting into your body. Now they do have an outdoor one as well, which I'll talk about towards the end, but that's more for wilderness where you're gonna be scooping water out of a lake and drinking it. So before we get into the caps, cause there are two caps for this, let's talk about the actual filter itself and how it works. So it is completely plastic around the outside, but that's BPA free. So it's a straw and everything. So you're not gonna get all those plastics uh, from it. It's an activated carbon filter. So that's really important because what it is gonna do is the carbon, the activated piece gives it like a positive connection and it pulls all those bad things and connects it and holds on to them. It's like a magnet for bad stuff and only lets the good stuff up the straw. The type of carbon that they use is actually made from coconut shells. And what's nice about that is when you make carbon from coconut shells, it doesn't have a lot of extra debris and things that will be going through. If you've ever had carbon and you see all that kind of dark water go through, it's all that extra stuff. So you won't have that problem with this. Uh, it's completely made in America, which I really like because then you know that they're going off of the strict tolerances and things that are you know, our government requires of it. So with it being activated carbon, it's actually coconut carbon and it's uh, made in America. I think it's a really great filter. So, but what does it really take out for you if you're gonna use it on your tap water? It takes out 99.9% .9 of chlorines, fluoride, uh, even things like um, sulfur if you're using well water and a tons of other things. You can check out uh, in the description, the link down there to all the different things that it filters out. All that stuff would be going into your body. You know, it even takes out the nanoplastics, which I really studied like about a year ago was like when you buy a water bottle from a store, like a convenience store, inside that water bottle, a bunch of little nanoplastics and you're drinking that and putting it into your system and it has a lot of adverse effects. So this clears out 99.9% .9 of all nanoplastics too. So um, pretty great idea to have one of these on your hydro flask. If you already have a hydro flask already, um, you just grab the cap and the actual filter and you'd be you know, on your way to having much cleaner water. Now they do come with two different caps. Uh, this is your standard cap, sip straw, sippy straw cap, you know, it goes down. It has an awesome hook on it, really strong. I like this hook. It's actually rubberized too, so it doesn't slip and then goes up, doesn't leak at all. Um, and also one thing is that it, you're going to have to like draw a little harder from it, but I was worried about that, but it's hardly at all. Like I've had water bottle filters that have been, you know, streamlined systems and you really have to suck through them to get through it. Um, there's a little force that you have to use, but nothing too bad. It's very easy to drink like in a meeting or something. You're not going to be obnoxious, like <laughs> trying to drink away in a meeting or something. Uh, so the draw is really nice. So that's the first cap. And then they have a cover cap as well, where when it goes down, you can actually seal it off and keep it clean from debris and such. This would be much more for like definitely when we're in our wood shop and don't want all the dust and garbage to go. But if you're overlanding or if you're camping in a really dusty area, this is pretty sweet because it protects it. Or even in the times that we're in right now uh, with different illnesses and stuff, it just keeps it covered if somebody sneezes or whatever. Um, and this one's nice too. Uh, I just, this is such an easy one, a go-to. It's so tough. I love the rubberized. Uh, this is definitely my favorite. This will be my backup. But they do make two different kinds of styles like that. One thing to be aware of is that you do have to buy the system for the certain bottle that you have, right? So you can see that the straws are cut at different height. So this one is your huge, and this is your 32 ounce. Um, it's cut at a different uh, height. Now the reason for that is that this does not rest on the bottom. It's just off the ground just a little bit. So it has to be cut at the right distance so that when it goes in, it sits at the right spot. So just make sure that you order the right one for your water bottle. Another thing too is when you put it in, don't fill your water all the way to the top because it's gonna take up this. I found out it's about two ounces 
of water, make it a little short like here, and you'll be fine. You won't have that splurge kind of go over. Or if you set it in slower too, it'll have to absorb it and it'll go in just fine. One last thing on these caps is that they're also compatible with Nalogen and Camelback water bottles. So that's pretty sweet. So if you have one of these, you could also switch it out. But you know, if you're a Hydro Flask person, stick your Hydro Flask, they're awesome. I've had this one for like five years and just put it through everything. It just, just keeps on going. The last thing I wanna talk about is the wilderness fi filter uh, that they have here. It's in orange. I kinda love the concept that they've got the tap water and the wilderness. Reason being is I go out, um, jeeping a lot and I could just scoop into a river and use this one to drink from. Now this one does take more force to drink through and why it's an outdoor filter is because it filters out so much more than just the tap water stuff. So this will go after your things like bark bacteria, giardia, all that type of stuff that you might get in a river. And again, it's down to 99.9% and you can check out all the you know, the, the science on it um, down below. Uh, but I've used these styles before, not this one, but this style, and um, they're pretty great. So if you want that added protection, or even if you're just going camping and you're using like that pump well water, so much bad stuff comes out of that. I mean, it looks like minerals and you feel like you're chewing your water and you're getting a little bit of your minerals, but I'd probably use that one when we're at a uh, backcountry campground with one of those big pump wells. With like a shallow well, um, I'd wanna be using this one. So I wanna know, do you already have one of these for your hydro flask? Did you know they existed? Comment down below. Till next time, just remember, life's a hike, so hike happy. And make sure you take your filtered water. Keep it clean. Use your favorite Hydro Flask bottle, of course.